Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. I'm going to talk about one of the subjects of Toxic Light and that is glass. In particular, the glass that is in your home. Now, the interesting thing about what we're looking at right now is on the left hand side we actually have double glazed windows. There's two layers of double glazing because the window is open. On the right hand side the window is actually open but it has a sheet of what is known as UV transmitting acrylic plastic in place. I'm going to show you that sheet. It's right here. So right there's the sheet. So this is an open window pane except for the fact that it's got the acrylic in front of it. And what I want you to do is to pay attention to the different colours of light between the left side and the right side. And it's very, very different. And most people don't actually realise this, but the windows are actually stripping out many wavelengths of natural light. And there's a problem with that because those wavelengths of natural light are essential to human development. And this was extensively proven a long time ago by a man called Dr. John Nash Ott. He wrote these books, he wrote this one in the 1950s, and it's My Ivory Cellar. He wrote this one in the 1970s called Health and Light. And he wrote this one in the 1980s called Light, Radiation and You. And when you read across these books, you'll actually find that he actually documents that window glazing was extremely harmful to cellular development in both plants and animals. And also humans. He did extensive human tests on himself. And he came to the conclusion that if you live your life behind window glass, then you're going to get quite sick. And this effect also applies to the glass that's in your car because all glass strips out ultraviolet wavelengths. And the glass on the left is actually what is known as low E coated glass. And that is like the worst glass of them all because low E strips out infrared light. It also strips out UV light. So you get a double whammy with low E glass. So that's why you want the glass that is on the right, which is UV acrylic plastic. UV transmitting acrylic plastic. And that's what John Ott did. John Ott eventually came to the conclusion, after doing all these years of research, that he could only be healthy with long-term exposure to UV transmitting acrylic glass when it was in his home. He found that when he lived behind conventional glass that strips out the UV, that he would get sick. And also his plants would get sick and the animals that he was experimenting on would get sick. So it's very, very interesting that this was all understood back in the 1950s, as he reports in this book. And that it's somewhat just been blatantly ignored by the world governments and health organizations and medical companies. And today we're all living behind this low E glass that is on the left and is known to be harmful to cellular development. So I just wanted to show you the difference again. We can see that there's a very, very big difference between the light on the left and the light on the right. And the light on the right has the UV in it and it has the least amount of filtering from our UV transmitting acrylics. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.